Oh, good. We've got... You know what? We survived the mouse trap. I think. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So this is the best camouflage on the best tank in War Thunder. It's a mouse. Now, so when I did bush camping, um, Den Anda, I asked, like, hey, what, what do you think would be tanks with, like, funny camo schemes and, like, bush? <laughs> How do you say? How do you say bush with bush on them? Right? This guy's like, fuck you, trying to get through. Um, and you know what? Den Anda here, with 267 votes, set a mouse with a bush on it. So I figured, you know, you... Camouflaging a mouse makes the most sense. Because you can definitely hide uh, the tank with bushes. Especially on a map like Advance of the Rhine. So we put some eyes to further increase our camouflage when we're in white and blue areas. <laughs> we put a nice little mouth there to go nom 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 nom. And now it's time to just go out there and wreck some people who will be unable to see us <laughs> with our amazing camouflage. Uh, this is going to be glorious. This is definitely going to work. I believe in it, guys. I believe in it. So the thing is, should we go down? this main road probably not because we're a mouse and we could get sniped from the side who over there oh man that would have been that would have been an interesting sniping opportunity oh there's someone right over there not that i could hit them yeah you know what we're going up this road we're a mouse and we're camouflaged so they definitely will never be able to see us so we don't have to worry. Mouse camp. There are field mouse and there are bush mouse. We are bush mouse. And bush mouse is best mouse. Oh, tits. That guy's dead. Don't worry, we'll shoot our coax because the crew is abandoning the tank right now. Because there's infantry in War Thunder. And I'm gonna kill them all for some extra silver lions. If only, man. If only that's the way it worked. Things will never be the same. What do we got going though, right? So basically, I was in Poland for the last couple days. I actually was invited out there by Wargaming to view the World of Tanks Grand Finals, which I found interesting. Hello, asshole. Target undamaged. Yo, dude, eat my MG. But yeah, I did see the grand finals. It was kind of cool. I think that guy just died. Let's see. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Dude, look at these. Why? Where's your bushes, Yag Tiger? But it was really cool. Dude, the food and the beer in Poland are very good and very cheap. That's what people told me it would be. And they weren't lying about that. Where's everybody? Dead tank. Part of ground, part of the world. Oh shit. How do you kill that thing? IS-3 from the front. Ugh. That's not good, comrade. Pike hole. Very, very smart. Yo, dude, I shot your tracks. Time to retreat, bro. <laughs> Time to retreat! I mean, he should retreat. I'm a mouse. A mouse. I am glorious. You know what? Oh, tits. We got other targets popping up. Where are they at, man? We want to break through. Because it's like, what, me and this Yag Tiger here? Just holding down the fort. Oh, hello. I could track him. Not the... I could track him and then shoot the armor. Dude, I haven't played War Thunder in six days. And it's been A, way too long, and B, I'm a little rusty. And C, oh shit, they're capping behind us. That's insane. We're gonna do a tactical move backwards. Oh god, I see tanks. Turret rotation very strong. Bushes will keep us from dying, comrade. 
I'll see you. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. T-44 has been destructioned. Why am I using, A, a terribly Russian accent while playing the Germans? They're still capping it? Where is he? Guys, I know he can't see us because we have bushes, but I can't see him either. Maybe he's bush tank. Attention to the map. Alright, that guy's taking it. You know what? Now we're gonna push the objective. Big Joseph Stalin tank ahead of us. We must get rid of him. Please don't shoot the side of my turret as it's rotating. That would be bad. Ooh! A Yag Tiger is moving at speed right there. Oh. He's dead. Oh god, that guy just died too. What, what killed him? Oh, we were what? A second away. Good job, Yag Tiger. We will go through. It's time to be victorious. They can't see us, guys. Like, you have to remember that. Yeah, we're a mouse and we're a big target. But when you can't see an enemy tank because of bushes, you, they're just going to have to give up. Oh, hello. Critical hit on a zoo. Or Z-U-T. Zoot. We barely, uh, we probably had an overpen. If it was anyone else, we probably would have knocked him out with our amazing 128. Oh, wow, look at the SPAA on the minimap right now in the center. All right. Oh, dude, we, we got rid of our camo just for a second because we knocked the light pole down, so they're going to know what to expect. Oh, you know what? There could be someone over here. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that, see that? That's called bad decisions. And now my f my friends here aren't gonna push. Cause they, oh man, how do you see me first off? Like I'm a bush. Oh shit. Yeah, attention, just charge it, bro. Dude, I'm a mouse. Like, deal with it. Yo, oh, I guess they're kind of being pinned down right there. Oh, I was like, please don't let that be an enemy. That would be terrible, huh? Where'd that come from? Hello, mouse combat. Oh, oh, that guy, he's, he's smart, man. Popping up on all sides. Look at those two guys. Look at right here. Look at this. These two guys. Great job, bros. Oh, and then the Yag Tiger's dead too, my buddy. Dude, we walked into a trap. A mouse trap. Hello. Please stop. I don't appreciate you doing this to me, okay? They have someone ahead of them. I wonder if I could shoot them. Yeah, that's right. See, I'm scaring him. But in reality, I can't do shit. What? Oh, you know what? We gotta go into last man standing. Haha. <laughs> yeah, peek out now, you little booger. Shit. Oh, good. We've got. You know what? We survived the mouse trap. I think. <laughs> Talk about the diving of that. Literally, I said we survived. And we got killed by a rabbit. Do rabbits normally attack mouses? Yes. All right. Well, I think at this point, we're going to go to the hoe. By the way, BR 7.0, guys. So we're going to do a little Batmaning right now. And we're going to get up in there. And we're going to bring him to justice. Chat spamming. <laughs> you are trying to tell people of tactical situation in your plight to survive. Aha, we see an enemy plane, but we've got a Bearcat, a 190, and a 109 up here. So I think we'll probably just be able to do some strafing. So, I'm pretty sure G forces don't come up here yet. So you can actually break your wings and tank ground forces. I don't think a whole lot of people have noticed that. Oh, wow. Goodbye, comrade. 
Alright, whatever this is, it's gonna have to die. I don't think it's a fighter. I'm surprised no one's seen it, especially with its green smoke. I wonder where it's going. What do you think it is? It's a big plane. Do you think it's a PEA? Kind of moving real fast for that. So there's the battle. Oh, it was a B-25J. Okay. Goodbye, comrade. Yes, yeah, so you gotta make sure... You gotta be extremely careful. Oh, he killed an AI Su-85? Did you see that? That guy was crashing. So there's AI tanks, like, somewhere in the city. What in the hell? Dude, Illuminati confirmed. Oh man, we don't see nothing. Yo, Baron, what up, guys? Alright, so we're capping B. Make sure not to run into the industrial smokestack of this little city here. Kalagni. Kuna. Is that how you pronounce it? In where, where are you guys? Did we just win? Oh, here we go. We got a hit. Woo! Look at that. We're so good. Aha! Oh, shit. That's a box tank. We're going to shoot it from behind and see what happens. Kill the box tank. Look at this. Box tank confirmed. We got a critical hit. Oh, our, our Bearcat friend. Enemy kill assist. So the F4U. Maybe rockets, maybe bombs. Look at this. Don't you wish you could have a persistent battle over the course of this map? Like these bridges get knocked out from bombers. They they would have already had to have been, right? Just randomly fired because someone was shooting in, in that general area. Yeah, this was a route, I guess. The Germans here have been victorious. I've noticed, I think that like um, in general, the vehicles, the Russian vehicles are better at surviving, you know, due to their how they're designed but I have noticed that that I feel like the German tanker on average I think is better and that's why a lot of times because everyone hears this Russian bias stuff and I mean if you think about it what if it's just all this conspiracy by German tankers to get all the noobs to go down the Russian line so that they have more people to shoot mm. that's thinking outside the box I think that guy's dead. And we kill assist on a T-54. So we've been flying around as Batman. Yeah, but Poland was great. The food there was amazing. Things were pretty affordable. The exchange rate was very favorable to the US dollar. The world of tanks like finals was pretty cool to watch. Um, it's fun, like, I don't think War Thunder will or should have a competitive scene. And I can discuss that, like, in a later episode, if you'd like me to. And please feel free to debate me in the comments on it, like, whether you agree or disagree. Um, but, I mean, if you think about it, just the way the two games are designed, by the very nature, War Thunder isn't, uh, it's not as much, like, extreme, extreme balance. Like, the tanks are modified in World of Tanks, from... How they perform historically, plus there's so many made-up tanks in World of Tanks. Like, it's just nuts. But, um, but yeah, that like that. I think that's a pretty good discussion for another day. That I think War Thunder investing in a pro scene is wasted time and money, in my personal opinion. And as a result, um, you know, like... War Thunder is about realism, right? It's about simulator-esque. Like, what would it have been like to fly this plane that fought in World War II? And this tank, and bombing tanks with planes, right? War Thunder has something that World of Tanks will never have, and that is being able to fly planes and tanks in the same battle that are human-controlled. And soon, maybe ships. We did get to see the April Fool's event, right? So just a quick little talk some talking points before we we quit our best tank camouflage ever right especially in an urban situation that was fun 
Um, and I, I, I overextended myself thinking that this camouflage would totally keep me, you know, hidden. But I don't think... I think War Thunder should focus more on, like, we just flew over Cologne in Germany, um, right on the Rhine, right? And imagine if that giant theater that we were flying over at the end was, like, a continuous battle, something that would last 24 hours in a very special event. People could go in, and as planes, you'd have those bridges, like, to target, right? You have to target certain amount of bridges as a bomber as a fighter you need to escort those bombers right shouldn't that shouldn't that be what war thunder is about instead of i think sometimes war thunder just tries to be similar or use things that world of tanks did because world of tanks is wildly successful war thunder is successful in its own right but i think like everyone knows that wargaming prints money with world of tanks right but, I mean, this is a totally different game. It's beautiful, and it's amazing in its own right and on its own merits, which are not those of World of Tanks. You'll never see, uh, I don't think, a thriving competitive esports scene. But that doesn't mean the game can't be wildly successful. It should be wildly successful because they focused on recreating or creating environments and situations in games in which you feel like, wow, that's... That's like World War II right there, you know, like playing a giant, huge battle. Realism is what you should pursue, not, you know, an esports thing. I know the War Thunder League, but I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so we started out with some silliness and ended with some seriousness. And you know what? That's just what we do over here. We talk about whatever we want because there's a lot of fun stuff going on. And there's a lot of stuff. This game's got a lot of potential. And you know what? I wanted to live up to it. So that's my thoughts. And that is the best, <laughs> the mousetrap camo. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Happy Tuesday.